The trial of William Samoy Ruto and Joshua Arab Sang before the International Criminal Court continued from 3rd to 7th April 2014 with the testimony of the 15th prosecution witness who testified under the pseudonym P0469. The witness testified under the protective measures of a pseudonym, facial pixelation, and voice distortion. Parts of the testimony were given in private sessions closed to the public to preserve the confidentiality of the witness's identity. During open sessions, the witness testified about the Kimumu area in the Rift Valley province during the period of the 2007 presidential elections. She said in the area was populated by a majority of people from the Kalenjin ethnic group. In Kimumu, the Kalenjins, Luos, and Luyas supported the ODM, Orange Democratic Movement, while the Kikuyus supported the PNU, Party of National Unity, the witness said. Answering questions from prosecution trial lawyer Lorenzo Pugliati, the witness described the atmosphere between ethnic groups before the elections. And did they say how the Madoa Doa should return to Otaya? When they told us to return to Uthaya, they said so by burning down our houses. That was a way for them to chase us away. They, built, they burnt down our houses and looted our property. Those were the signs. You see, you cannot continue to live in an area where there is no peace, and therefore we were expected to flee and to go elsewhere. And again, without mentioning any names, who are you referring to when you say they burnt down our houses and looted our property? I am talking about those Kalenjins who burnt down our houses. They are the ones who said that we should return to our places in Udaya because we had come and taken over their compounds and their place because, you know, Lift, Rift Valley was a, is a place that is occupied by the Kalenjin. On 31st December 2007, the election results were announced and the violence started, the witness said. As she was fleeing with her children, she joined a group of about 200 Kikuyus at Joyland. The witness said she saw two groups of mostly Kalenjin men gather and burn houses belonging to Kikuyus. She confirmed that the men did not touch any houses belonging to other ethnic groups. After about three hours of waiting, trucks arrived and took them to Eldoret Police Station. On the way there, they encountered several roadblocks guarded by Kalenjin youths and women. So were you able to see what was happening on the road as you were being transported? To Kienda, Eldoret Police Station, Kulikua. When we got to Eldoret Police Station, or there were roadblocks, or rather on our way to the police station, there were roadblocks. At that time, there were some Kalenjin women nearby. They were talking to us, and they said things like, Madoa Doa, Zangari, go back to Utaya. And they threw, st they threw stones at us. On 6th January 2008, she and her children were moved with a group of other internally displaced persons to the Eldoret showground where they stayed until October 2009. Following the prosecution's examination, the witness was cross-examined by Caroline Buisman on behalf of the defense team of Mr. Sang, mostly in private session. During the cross-examination by Mr. Ruto's defense team, during brief open sessions, the witness stood by her testimony about ongoing tensions in Kimumu before the election results were announced and the post-election violence that erupted in the area. Answering questions from Lei Lowry, the witness confirmed certain information she saw on the television at the time. Madam, I suggest that you're mistaken in your recollection and that Mr. Adinga never said those words. Alisema kwa TV. 
He said it on television on 30th December 2007 that if he won't be declared as the winner, the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea will be filled with blood. And Waila Odinga cried. Was he crying tears? Yes, I saw him on television crying. Madam, our position is that the only reference that Mr. Odinga made to the sea during the elections was to a tsunami and that what he meant by that was that there was going to be a great wave of support for the ODM. Would you agree that you might be mistaken and that in your recollection of Mr. Odinga's turn of phrase? I'm not mistaken. Proceedings in the case of William Ruto and Joshua Sang will continue on Wednesday 9th, April 2014 with the testimony of the 16th prosecution witness. In this issue of the trial in context, Registrar of the Court, Hermann von Hebel, is talking about the role of the registry in the proceedings. The ICC registry is a neutral organ of the court that is in charge of the non-judicial aspects of the court's administration. The registry is first and foremost a service providing organ of the court. Our core functions are to provide administrative and operational support to the judiciary and to the parties and participants to the proceedings. We help to develop effective mechanisms to protect witnesses, to assist the defense teams and to conduct outreach activities. The registry is also responsible for general court management, security, public information, court records, translation and interpretation, counsel support, support for victims to participate in the proceedings and much, much more. The ultimate goal of providing these services is to support the court as it conducts fair, effective and expeditious public proceedings.